Today we are at episode eight. I'm loving this series of how to grow your small account. And I'm more than willing to help you guys to grow your small account. Let me do GBP, GBP AUD update because that's what we did yesterday. And in this channel, I have really taken time to work with some people who are more than willing to change their, to change their life using Forex trading. And also, I'm, I, I think I'm called for that person who is very discouraged and maybe they have blown so many accounts and they have failed to, to rise from the dust. Let me tell you my message today before even I get into the video. It is not all gone. It's not all gone, by the way. Money is replaceable. If you have lost in tunes of thousands of dollars or in millions, let me tell you, you can recover. If you're that person who is so broke that even to fund your account, it is a problem, God is still seated on the throne. And for me, I say Forex is spiritual. So if you find that you're really struggling in Forex, it means you have a calling in it, and it means your money is still there. This is a market, this is an industry that has $6 trillion. So what you need to do is to rise up. What you need to do is to follow this video every single day because I am here to hold your hand until you reach your destiny. So guys, as we do this update, this is how typically you should be trading every single day. This is how you should react when the market gives you entry positions or confirmations. This is what you should do every single day to grow your small account. So that being said, be encouraged. This month of May is a month that I will help you to be confident enough. This is a month that I will help your phone to always have blues because we are done with the reds. We are done with drawdowns. We are done with blowing account. We are done being discouraged. It's time to rise up. GBPAUD had a possible double bottom on the daily time frame. And we have marked our half. And I can repeat marking our half because sometimes that line can move and you think half is broken and it's not. So our half was broken yesterday. And the reason why we are really interested with this double bottom is because it's OPT. When you go to the weekly time frame, we don't have that double bottom. So the question is, when half is broken, what is the ideal thing to do? The ideal thing to do is not to buy immediately. There's a difference, guys, between buying being confirmed and entry being confirmed. Those are two different things. I don't know if I write it for you not to, to forget. There's a difference between buy confirmation. And I don't know why people uh, mistake Two, they confuse the two. There's a difference between buy confirmation and entry confirmation. When we say something has given us a buy confirmation, nobody has told you to enter immediately. And this is what I teach in my course. Because majority of you think, why do I need a course? Because every information is on YouTube. Let me tell you, many people tell you how to get buys confirmation and sell confirmation. Not many people will tell you how to spot an entry confirmation. Comment down below if you have ever found yourself, the market has confirmed a buy, you enter buy and then you draw down, you blow your account. After that, the market now continues with what you had said, the buy uh, trend. It's because your entry was wrong. Every time you do a wrong entry, what happens? you'll be swiped up. That retracement will blow you. So what majority of people don't understand is that even if the market has done a buy confirmation, there's the retracement part of it. And you need to know how far will the retracement happen. So it is not a must. In fact, this market can buy immediately to the neckline. So we were never given an opportunity to buy to half but we have 277 pips to go. Do you think the market will just buy 277 pips without doing a retracement? I don't think so. So I want to show you 
how you can have now an entry confirmation using GBP AUD. On the other video, I was telling you if the market does the WBB, we are buying up to half. Now the case is different, and that's why I'm updating GBP AUD. Because if you saw the other video, we were talking of buying to half. Now the market even has broken the half. Now that's why I'm updating. And that's why I told you, if I am more willing to give you this free content, what do you think it is there in my mentorship program? And I'm not here to try to convince you, by the way. I think I'm past that. For me, I'm trying to tell you there's more. There's more to what even I teach on YouTube. You can opt to buy my course that is $400, or you can come to the event that is next week on Friday, which I'm charging $12,100. And this event, I'm dubbing it One Day Masterclass. This event, you will get more information on this event. Why? Because imagine I help you to know how to, to, to do risk management, how to operate multiple accounts, how to trade news. I give you a strategy like BW at $100, guys. Hi. And this course, uh, this one day masterclass will be recorded for anyone who wants to purchase it as a recorded online course because you can't come to Kenya for the physical event. Anyway, enough with that. I just wanted to put that. And I will always put that to help other people who have money and they don't know what to do. Invest in the right place, guys. So when it comes to four hours, we know GBP AUD is a buy. That one we know for sure. The problem with majority of you, you don't know entry confirmation. So the market has done a buy and it is very sad to place your buy order here because the market can retrieve. So the order I gave everyone is a 91.44 on the previous video. And the reason why we did 91.44 is because the market can come to this area to retrace. So in my course, I really emphasize why the market retraced to, to those zones. For now, because this is free content, you just know the market is, right, is most likely to come to 91.44. And you know, See, for this market to drop to 91.44 is 148 pips. And that's why majority of you, you will buy. And then when you are taken on a drawdown of 147 pips, what happens? You blow the account. Once the market hit that position, once the market hit this position, the market starts to go up and it goes and it activates the neckline. So this is where I'm telling you guys, there's a lot to learn. Market is not just buying and selling. You need to learn. You need to be smart with the market. I keep saying Forex is like a chameleon. It keeps, it keeps shifting. Today is red. Today is blue. Today is purple. Uh, the next minute is yellow. So you need to know how the market is shifting. So I want you guys, everyone, you go and put a buy limit at 1.9144. And just leave it alone. Just leave it alone. Why? Because once you put that 1.9144, at least you're good to go. Another thing that I came to realize, where the market is, when I went to 30 minutes time frame, we are almost activating a double, a double top that is OPT. So I came here and I found, can you see this line? We are almost activating. So as we wait for our limit to be activated, your eyes should be on this small double top because you can be able to trade that cell as it drops. So it has not activated. It's just something that you can't see on four hour. And this is what I tell people, trading the unseen. If you keep thinking that, oh, what? why does she charge on her cost? Let me tell you, if you want to be helped, how to trade the unseen. If you remain on forward, you will never see that resistance. And that is the resistance that can be tapped by this market to take the market down. Or what, how do you think this market will sell to activate our orders? What do you think will make GBP you start selling? They can activate that 30 minutes or they may not activate it. So because our interest is not more, it's not more than selling, we are just thinking out loud if they activate that 30 minutes 
and this is our neckline square is our half so this second limit is for someone with a bigger account and they don't mind you can see the second area where i would tell anyone who, who has and i'm saying who has a, at least a bigger account to put the limit is 9180 and how have we achieved 9180 we have achieved 9180 by anticipating a double top and measuring half if we go to four hour 9180 is not a very clear zone we, you might not know why the market may retrace to 9180. So I have two positions for you, and this is a buy limit position. Note, and I'm repeating again, 9180 to 9144 is about 36 pips drawdown. So if you, if you get activated at 9180 and the market has said it will go to 9144, it means you will be at 36 pips drawdown. If your account can hold, no problem. For me, I have a big account. I have put both pending orders. It's you to make a decision. So my eyes are on 1.9180 and 1.9144. So these are my targeted zones for the retracement. And that's why I'm, I keep saying, and I will repeat again, one day masterclass, that I'm charging a hundred dollars, it's worth your money. It's worth even if you listen to me the, the next two weeks and you place those trades, you have made more than that. For me, I give value that is more than money. So if you start thinking, oh, I'm paying her a hundred dollars, what is a hundred dollars when the market has six trillion dollars? What is $400, when I'm teaching you to come to an industry that has $6 trillion, when I'm trying to train you how to make money every single day. So guys, if you're interested, you can buy my course that is $400 or you can subs you can register for the $100, the one day masterclass. And let's wait for the market to activate. This is episode eight guys, and I hope you have enjoyed this episode. And we'll be waiting. I will update once our buy limits have been activated. Be patient. Don't think that the market doesn't know what it is doing. It might come down and activate our trades. If our trades will never be activated, too bad on us. There's nothing we can do. We still move forward because you can't force a trade. All the best, guys. Love you. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.